hours straight and we have this so after one hour i have this hey guys it's been a while hey guys it's been a while few few weeks stop the cap F few months anyways i'm back and i've got a banger for you guys today in this video i'm going to be making a game in 10 hours one hour in 10 minutes you're gonna want to stick to the end because the 10 minute game gets pretty crazy not gonna lie what did i do what why? 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 Oh. Oh. why did I do that? Last night I modeled all the assets and stuff which took 3 hours so I actually only have 7 hours left which um, we're gonna start now Boom, 7 hours on the clock I should finish at around 7.10 Let's get the show on the road. I exported the models in Blender and put them in Unity. This took an unnecessary amount of time because models were rotated and scaled the wrong way and this and that. Like seriously, why can't Blender and Unity just get along? Anyways, once they were in Unity, I gave them materials and colliders so the player doesn't just fall through the ground. Now that I had all the models, I did some simple coding to make the player movement and restart the level when the player touches an obstacle. I also added a bit of post-processing, and by a bit, I mean I legit only added Bloom. That's all you really need, right? Bad looking game? Slap on Bloom, and it becomes a triple A title. Easy as that. I didn't like how the camera was glued to the player, it didn't feel very dynamic. So I made a smooth camera follow system. I mean, I did the old control C, control V, if you know what I mean. Hey, Big Toe, you can't just copy code. That's cheap. Shh. Shh. Th shh. Around two hours has passed, which means we are halfway through the 10 hours. The game is looking quite good so far, actually. I really like how the colors are coming together. And with the sponsor of this video, Core, you can also make your own amazing games for free and with no coding. It's powered by the Unreal Engine, and it's a great way to start your game development journey as you can create games in mere hours using thousands of high-quality music, sounds, and art assets provided by Core. On top of that, Core makes multiplayer super easy to implement, so you don't have to worry about all that technical stuff. If you're a nerd like me, you can also use a built-in coding language called Lua, allowing to make your own game logic. Additionally, you can play over 20,000 games made by Core's amazing community. Developers are confident about investing in Core, including Epic Games, as Core's recently raised $100 million. Core also has an industry-leading revenue share for UGC platforms of 50%. And did I mention, with Core's new perks program, you can make money from the games you create so you can quit your day job and buy your dream cars, like many Core creators already have. Also, Core is hosting the Core Invitational 2.0 from August 12th to September 13th, where talented creators can compete for $140,000 in prizes including a tesla model 3 it's open to all creators and no prior experience in core is required additionally all creators that are accepted in the competition excluding the category and special award winners will receive one thousand dollars just for participating only 50 creator applications will be accepted and applications close on august 1st so make sure you submit your portfolio today for more information check the description of the video and also download core for free i needed to put something at the end of the levels to signify the end or the objective so i modeled the portal or at least tried to but it ended up looking like a weird weird fridge thingy whatever i don't have time this this will have to do now time to make some menus i made a level complete menu that displays this displays 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 when the level is is oh, i can't speak when a level is finished i then tried to make this cool cinematic main menu thing but i couldn't make it look good so i just decided to yoink the geometry dash menu i managed to get the same font and it ended up looking pretty good i named the game geometry trash because well this game is trash geometry dash <laughs> I made this level select menu where you can obviously choose what level you want to play but right now it's kinda useless because there aren't any levels to play. With 2 hours remaining, I decided to work on making the levels. Time lapse time. There we go. The 10 hours is complete and I'm very, very, as I was saying, and I'm very, very tired. <laughs> 10 hours straight, well, technically seven hours straight of making this game. And we have this. Yeah, we have Geometry Trash. Unity C 
scene ready, my timer ready. Yeah, so the only thing left to do is start. Three, two, one. 59 minutes and 54 seconds left. Better not waste any more time. Let's get to this. For the one hour game, I decided to keep things simple and not make models like in a 10 hour game, for obvious reasons. First of all, I made a cube and made it long. This will be the ground for our game. I had to import some packages in the project which took a couple minutes. <sighs> Precious time wasted. Anyways, I made another cube which will act as a player and gave it some color. Now it's time for the coding. I made a basic movement and jumping system, nothing too special, and ended up with this. Now that the movement's all done, let's make some obstacles. For the obstacles, I used... Yup, a cube. I then made a script that told the game to restart when the player touches an obstacle. Right, all the basic parts of the game are done and we only spent half our time. Great. Next on the agenda is post-processing, which basically beautifies the game. I made the mistake of not importing the assets I needed beforehand, so I had to do some importing which wasted a lot of time. After everything was finished importing, finally, I wanted to mess around with the post-processing settings but I realized that time was running low, so I decided to spend my remaining time doing something more important, like adding a skybox. Seriously, this was a horrible idea. Not only did I end up not using the skybox at all, but it took ages to import. And by that I mean 5 whole minutes. That's literally a 12 of the time wasted. Many months later. With 20 minutes remaining, I didn't want to spend too much time on the post processing, so I just added a bit of bloom. Lastly, I made some more obstacles, removed the ugly skybox that I spent an eternity importing, and spent the 5 extra minutes making these particles and doing some final touches. So, after one hour, I have this. It's a very mediocre game. In fact, it's a very bad game for the amount of time I had. It doesn't even have an ending, so um, you can't even win, so it's not even a functional game. And it, take, it takes like, what, 30 seconds? And yeah, that's, that's the end of the game. Everything's just very basic. If this is the one hour game, what will the 10 minute game look like? I don't know. So now that I've made a 10 hour game and a 1 hour game, it's time to make a 10 minute game. <sighs> Wish me luck. Alright, our time started. First, let's make a cube. Put that down. And make another cube. I'm already 30 seconds in, what the hell? Uh, I don't have time to rename stuff. Alright, so we got two cubes. Okay, two minutes in. And we've got basically nothing. Alright, it's time to start making our scripts. Oh, it's because they have rigid bodies, that's right. What am I doing? Remove components, there you go. Okay. Alright, it's working. Um, right now we can just jump forever. Uh, let's fix that. Okay. One minute left. Just the ground checking, hopefully it works. What? No way, what? What did I do? What did I do? Huh? What? Uh, um... Just delete all that, I guess. What the hell did I do? Um... Wait, um... One trigger exit is grounded. Is grounded. Public bull is grounded. Hello? What was that? Oh, it, the ground checking actually works. What the hell? What was that? Just <laughs> finished right on. So, what was that random error that we had at the end? This is what I managed to make in 10 minutes. I mean, it's not the best game, but. Come on, I had 10 minutes. So I managed to finish the challenge. I managed to make a game in 10 hours, one hour, and surprisingly, 10 minutes. Anyways, if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification. Like the video, and um, that's it. Peace.